Dr. Lynn Jordy is with me now talking about advocacy and how important it is for ASHG. Tell me why it's so critical. At this time, I think it's fair to say that human genetics has touched almost every aspect of our existence, whether we're talking about the law, about health, about history, ancestry, identity. So it's very important for us as a society uh, to inform the public of the real science, what we actually do. So you talk about all of these different areas. What do you think are the most key areas that ASHD should be involved in when it comes to advocacy? Well, I think uh, human health uh, is of fundamental importance to all of us. Uh, and as we learn more and more about the role of genetics in health and disease, the public needs to know more about genetics itself. What is the actual science? Not pseudoscience, not popular science, but real science. And what that science might mean for their own personal health today and in the future. That's right, because there's also a real potential for misunderstanding of genetic information. Uh, and so one of the things that we are trying to do is to inform people accurately and clearly about the role of genetics in health and disease. And if you're going to do that, you're going to need the members, all of the people who are here today and even those who haven't come. That's right. How do you get them involved? Well, one of the things we try to convince our members of is the need for local involvement uh, because uh, there will be people in Congress, uh, others in government, uh, people in healthcare uh, who will need and want that information uh, and often it's best delivered at the local level. Do you have a roadmap for members so that they can get involved if they want to but don't really know how? So we have sent out uh, email messages uh, to all of our membership telling them how they can pledge to be an advocate for ASHG. It's very easy. Uh, the requirements are, are uh, minimal, uh, but it gives everyone the opportunity to become an advocate for human genetics. And you've got this advocate pledge. Yes, so we urge our members to sign the pledge, to become involved, uh, because it's, it's a great opportunity, I think, for all of us. So what do you think, then, is the most important message? You have the ears of people who are here. What do you think is the most important thing to say to everyone right now when it comes to advocacy? Well, I, I, I think it's vital that we all become involved. Uh, what we do in our laboratories, what we do in our classrooms, it's all very important. But there's a broader public that also needs to be engaged uh, because the public, more now more than ever, really cares about human genetics, about what we're doing. Uh, but we need to be sure that they really know what we're doing uh, and how it affects them and how it can improve their lives. On the flip side, what is the danger of not having the correct information get out there? Well, there is, I think, growing misunderstanding of uh, genetics, uh, its impact on society, um, issues like genetic discrimination, uh, issues like uh, what some people call race and genetics. Uh, these are areas that uh, our committee has become involved with to make sure that people understand uh, the science behind the issues so that misunderstanding is minimized. Well, we're glad we have an advocate like you so that advocacy will move forward. Dr. Lynn Jordy, thank you so much. ASHG TV is brought to you by the American Society for Human Genetics annual meeting in San Diego. For more videos like this, click on the links and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.